Google Ads combined segments allow you to take just about every other type of audience targeting in Google Ads and apply and and or logic statements to make sure that you're narrowed down to exactly the right set of users. So in this video, I wanna show you where combined segments live and walk you through the builder so you can start to create extremely targeted audiences for your account. To access your combined segments, we need to be in the audience manager. In the new interface, that's gonna be under tools, and then shared library, and then audience manager over here on the left. And then as I mentioned, we're gonna be using just about every other type of audience targeting that you can use in Google Ads to create these combined segments. So at this point, I'm gonna refer you to a few videos. First, the Your Data Segments, is going to be a video we released just recently covering all of the different types of remarketing lists you can use in Google Ads. If you wanna check out that video, it's at the top of the screen right now. And we'll walk through all the different options we have for creating custom remarketing lists so that we're targeting all the people who have engaged with your brand in one way, shape, or form across many different platforms. The second type of audience is going to be unfortunately named audiences, which is very nondescript. It should probably be called audience signals. And the video for that is at the top of the screen right now. These are gonna be the things that you would normally see for performance max or demand generation. So these are a very specific type of audience. The next type we can use are called custom segments. Again, the video is at the top of the screen right now, but for this, we can combine different types of websites, search terms, and interests to create custom sets of users based on the type of content they've seen around the Google network. Now with all that out of the way, let's jump into what we're talking about today, combined segments, where we start to move all of those pieces together along with some of the in-platform targeting that we have. Now you can create combined segments in your campaign builders as you're creating either your search or display campaigns, which is where combined segments can be used. But I find it's easier to just talk about it from the audience manager rather than going through the campaign setup. So let's go here and click the plus button, create combined segment. Now, just like every other audience we've ever made in here for an example account, I'm gonna give it a really terrible name, but now we'll be able to tell it apart from anything else in the account. The other admin pieces I wanna talk about before we get into actually building the audience are gonna be over here off on the right. So if we come over here, you can see segment estimate settings. If I open this up, we can narrow down the location and the language we wanna use for this specific combined segment. It defaults to all countries and all languages, so the largest reach possible, but you can select a specific country. So for now, let's just do United States. And then you could change the language if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it. All of these are going to be only the checkboxes for the standard languages and country settings you have for Google Ads. No custom targeting, no fancy options, just the country level targeting, just checkboxes, that's all. So now we can start to build our custom combinations. And as I mentioned, we're gonna be using and and or statements in this audience builder to have a really defined audience. So first we can come up into this original setting, match any of these segments. So if I click here, I've recently been doing a couple things. So there's some recent options, but if I go to browse, you see that we have the option for the detailed demographics, which are default Google targeting, the same with affinity audiences, as well as in market and life events. And then down below, you'll see we have the your data segments, which we talked about just a little bit ago, as well as the custom segments. We do not have the use of the audiences or audience signals within a combined segment. So keep that in mind. If you want to use those types of audience signals, you're gonna to have to duplicate them again in this combined segment group. You can also see down here at the bottom, we have a your custom interests right now. It's blank and I haven't been able to find any documentation about a custom interest just yet. So ideally, that'll be another future video on the Paid Media Pros channel. But for right now, we're gonna stick with what's here. And as I've done with other videos in the past, I'm just gonna start to click around and make some stuff so you can see how it works. Let's just say we wanted to use some affinity audiences, people who are interested in banking and finance and food and dining, because why not? Who doesn't love money and food? I think those might be the two things that Joe and I like the most. Once we've selected those, you can now see our estimated segment size has about 10 billion plus weekly impressions. That's about as big as it gets. And partially that's because I used affinity audiences and that's okay. This is just an example. But the biggest thing to know is that in this first box, whether you're using the affinity audiences or anything else, let's say I also added in some detailed demographics here, just because let's say parental status, parents, let's say the 
top three of these. Now we're saying that we want to target anybody in either of these affinity audiences or anybody who is a parent of a child between zero and five years old. All of these audiences in this group are considered an or statement. They only have to match one of them to be eligible to fit in our audience. But if we want to start to refine our audience and say that they need to be in these groups as well as another group, we can then utilize this narrow your segment option down here where you'll see the and function. So if I click this button, we will be brought to the exact same builder that we've been using. And now we can narrow down our audience to focus on any group in this top box up here, but they must also match any of the segments in this bottom group. We still have the option for detailed demographics, affinity audiences, in market, your data segment, custom segment, and the elusive custom interest. Let's say we wanted to apply all of this because we know those are the personality types that we want to target, but then we also want to target specific in market events. So let's come to in market and say that we want them to be ready to buy a car, something like that. Let's see what we've got available here. Motor vehicles, we'll just check into that just because. Now we're saying somebody has to be in any of the top audiences up here, and they also have to be in market for this motor vehicles option. So even though our estimated audience size hasn't gone down in terms of the number on the right, it definitely has gone down in terms of the number of people that we're trying to actually target. You could then continue to add audience segments in this second box, meaning that they could be in motor vehicles or another segment that you add here, as well as any of the boxes, or you can refine it even further by adding another and statement and saying that they have to be in the original box. They also have to be in market for a car. And then let's go ahead and just add in another fun detailed demographic. Let's say employment, industry, just so we can see if we can get this narrowed down. They have to be in the education sector. There we go. Now our estimated audience size is down to 250 million weekly impressions. That's still pretty huge, but we've now narrowed it down and you can see how these work. The last option we have is to actually just exclude people rather than trying to include more people in the audience. So if we want to come down to the exclude segments or the not portion down here, kind of a funny thing that they've got going on there with a logic statement of not, you could then search for any of the audiences you want, or you can go back to browse. Here you'll notice that we do not have custom segments or the custom interests listed. We're limited to only detailed demographics, affinity, in market, and your data segments. My guess is that's just because of how the custom segments work and how the custom interests are likely to work once I figure that out. But let's say you wanted to target all these users, but then also exclude anybody who's already converted on your website. So now we have an audience that's basically filled with new users who have not converted that are in the education sector, they're looking to buy a car, and they're part of the, I think, food and drink and beauty and wellness section, but they're also a parent of a young child. So we've really created a specific combined segment audience here. Now, just because it's not gonna hurt anything, I'm gonna go ahead and save this and show you how we can apply it to some of our campaigns. So first, let's go down and click Create. And now you can see that our example combined segment is listed here, and it is not in use and it's not added to any campaigns or ad groups. There already is an existing one applied to an existing ad group. So now let's show how we can actually apply this. We're gonna hop into campaigns. Now for an existing campaign, all we would need to do is click into the campaign we wanna use. Right now I'm in a search campaign. I would then head over to the audiences tab. I can then jump up to add audience segments. Let's click campaign. We'll then be prompted to decide if we wanna use targeting or the observation settings for this audience. If you're interested in that, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. But the easiest way for me to find the segment is to go to browse, come down to combine segments, and here we see our example combined segment is eligible for this. We would then just check the box and we'd click save if we were going to apply it, but we're not. As I mentioned earlier, you can also create combined segments in the campaign builder process. You would do that by navigating to this exact same page and then clicking this blue link down here for new combined segment. It'll open up the builder. You can create it exactly the way that we just did. For now, I'm gonna click cancel. That's how you can apply a combined segment to an existing campaign. Let's say we were gonna create a brand new display campaign, create new. We'll just do campaign without a goals guidance just for fun. Come to display, go ahead and save all of this conversion action stuff. Now I'm gonna skip over all of the other settings because it's not important for this video. So let's just go to targeting. We can come to add targeting. We'll go to audience segments. And now we're back to the same type of browser we've used in the past. So if I come to browse, go to combined segments down here, and now we can check into our example combined segment. Now I wanted to specifically show you a display campaign as well. 
because even though we've opted into the example combined segment, you'll notice down here that optimized targeting is still on. We have another video that you can watch at the top of the screen right now that'll talk about optimized targeting, but by default, pretty much turn this off in every single display campaign that I start, and then I might test turning it on later. Now with these settings, I'm targeting exactly only my example combined segment and nobody else. So I can see how it performs, decide what to do from there. Overall, a combined segment is used very similarly to any other audience, but it has some of the more powerful building options with the and and or statements, as well as that not statement for excluding people that you don't want in the audience. In my mind, combined segments are some of the more powerful audience builders, but unfortunately we can really only use them in search and display campaigns. So depending on which type of campaign you're trying to use, you might need to use one of the other options that we found in the audience manager. And as I mentioned earlier, we already have videos for all of those. So if you're interested in anything else, feel free to check those out. But if you've got any questions about combined segments or anything else in the audience manager tab, or quite frankly, the Google ads interface, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.